uh, monocytes and macrophage are together we can also call it uh, reticulo endothelial system okay now this monocytes is actually the uh, it's it's form in the bone marrow and from the bone marrow it moves towards the blood vessels so this monocytes will be if it is in the blood vessel or i mean it's if it is in the blood this is called monocyte but as this monocytes get into the tissue then we call it macrophage so the formation of monocytes occur in bone marrow and this 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 monocyte is actually called uh, if it is present in the blood okay or in the blood vessels or in blood this is called monocytes and it is actually called circulating macrophage it is like immature mm, macrophage it is also called baby macrophage as it is also called immature macrophage okay and it have you see the nucleus is kidney kidney bean shaped nucleus the marker for it is cd14 positive okay the half life of monocyte is one day and the uh, the membrane of monocyte is very smooth now if the monocyte like we already know that the normal count of monocyte is 5% if it is if it is increased more than 5% then we call it monocytosis cytosis mean increase mono mean monocytes okay now uh, the most common cause for monocytosis is virus okay and if the monocyte count increase more than 15 percent that will be called extreme monocyte monocytosis and the causes for this you will remember like let's l mean listeria e mean epstein barr virus t mean tuberculosis s mean salmonella and cephalus okay now we, i already told you that this monocyte the function of monocyte is for phagocytosis but it cannot do phagocytosis because for phagocytosis we need this foot formation which is called pseudo foot and for uh, this pseudo foot formation is occur because of the filament or the skeleton or the filament which is present inside the cell like actin myosin these filaments proteins so these filaments are not uh, are not fully developed in monocytes and there is no enough space inside the monocyte so that's why monocyte uh, cannot do phagocytosis okay it's like a baby macrophage as this monocyte during infection or inflammation as the monocyte get into the tissue then we call it macrophage now macrophage in different tissue macrophage will get the different name like in brain we call it microglia in bone we call it osteoclast c l a s t clast mean cutting so they cut the bone that's why it's called macrophage macrophage of the bone is called osteoclast in liver the macrophage is called kaffir cell and lymph node the macrophage is called reticular cell or dendritic cell in kidney it is called mesangial cell in skin it is called langerhans cell in lung it is called typhonemocytes in connective tissue we can call it epithelioid cells gant cell histiocytes and clasmatocyte and in spleen we can call it res reticulo endothelial system uh, and also in granulation tissue there will be different name like Langhan, Langhan cell, epithelioid, Gant cell. Okay, now let's talk about macrophage more. So as we already know that macrophage we get it from monocytes. And as the CD marker for monocyte was CD14, so for macrophage it will be also CD14 positive. Now it secrete what are what what are the secretion of macrophage? So macrophage secrete tumor necroting factor alpha, transforming growth factor beta, interleukin 1, interleukin 8, interleukin 12, and nitric oxide. Now let's talk about tumor necroting factor alpha, which is simply we call it TNF alpha. This TNF alpha is secreted from macrophage, but it can also be secreted from mast cell. And if you see here, in mast cell there is A, and in macrophage there is A. And and this is alpha so this is how you will remember that mast cells and macrophage secrete tumor necroting factor alpha now tumor necroting factor alpha do apoptosis of tumor cell it recruit macrophage as it activate macrophage it invite the macrophage more and more in macrophage to the area of infection and inflammation and it also mediates sepsis it also activate other cells of inflammate inflammations like cd4 CD4 positive T cells, neutrophil, fibroblast, endothelial cell. Now transforming growth factor beta, it's help in regeneration and repair. Now you have to remember that transforming growth factor beta is also secreted by T cells, smooth muscle cell, flatlet, and fibroblast and endothelium. 
Now, interleukin-1, as, as you all know, that interleukin is acute phase is for responsible for acute phase response. It means that this interleukin is responsible for fever. We will next time we will talk about in detail. So for acute phase response like fever and malaise, it also mediate the sepsis together with tumor necrotic factor alpha. Interleukin eight. I already uploaded another videos on neutrophil chemoattractant okay factors. So interleukin eight is neutrophil chemoattractant factor. And it also mediate the degranulation of mast cells. Okay. Now interleukin 12, it help in activation of T helper 1 cell. This is naive T cells. This naive T cells can be converted into 2 helper 1 and also can be converted into 2 helper 2. But with if there is interleukin 12, then naive T cells is going to convert into T helper 1 cells. This interleukin 12 is secreted by macrophage. Now activations for the, the, what are the activations of macrophage? Like as this T helper one cell is going to secrete interferon gamma interleukin two. Then this interferon gamma and interleukin two will activate cytotoxic T cells and macrophage. Okay, so the interferon gamma and interleukin twos are the activator of mast uh, of macrophage. Now what are the function of macrophage? As we already know, it helps in cell-mediated immunity. Now you see, this cytotoxic T cells and macrophage and T helper 1 cells, these are the cell arm of the cell-mediated immunity. I already uploaded another videos on cell-mediated immunity. And for the mnemonic is CM. For the cell-mediated immunity, the mnemonic is CM. Okay, like monocytes, this C is cell-mediated immunity, C is also for cytotoxic T cells and then M is for monocytes and macrophage okay so the functions of the macrophage is cell mediated immunity and I, as I already explained in that video it's for against intracellular pathogen now the second one is phagocytosis okay the third one is antigen presenting cells it is macrophage is antigen presenting cells okay now B cells and dendritic cells are also antigen presenting cells now the another function is it help in delayed type of hypersensitivity reaction which is type 4 hypersensitivity reaction which can also be called cell mediated uh, hypersensitivity reaction as macrophage help is uh, as macrophage is the part of cell mediated immunity so that's why we can say that it can also mediate the cell mediated uh, type 4 hypersensitivity reaction and um, as i already said that the monocytes, macrophage, and cytotoxic T cells are the uh, cells for cell mediated immunity. But the main effector cells for cell mediated immunity is macrophage. Okay? And from here, you will also remember that this T helper 1 cells is going to activate cytotoxic T cells and macrophage. So it means that T helper 1 cells, cytotoxic T cells, and macrophage, all these together will come in the uh, category of cell mediated immunity. Okay?